wanted to talk about was um, is the difference between butterflies and moths and how do you tell the difference because I get this question a lot um, when I go talk to kiddos and show them insects and so then I ask them well what do you think the difference is and a lot of times I get things like um, butterflies are more colorful right and general generally that is true butterflies do tend to be more flashy so this beautiful beautiful specimen this is um, a morpho butterfly this comes from south america they're these beautiful iridescent um, blue and the blue is actually not a pigment that the wings have that's actually like very very rare in nature how it is um how the wings are this blue is there's actually little structures and the scales that cover the wing the the wings that reflect um light at a certain angle so that our eyes take it in as blue so it's not a pigmentation it's just a reflection of the light and they're beautiful beautiful specimens but there are moths that are colorful and beautiful and have bright patterns so here's just a few examples of some moths and as we can see some of them are very patterned like this specimen right here right with its very yellow brown spots um let's see there's another one this one this tiger moth would have originally had a lot more red on it and then of course we have moths like the luna moth which is by far one of my favorites because they're so beautiful um that are are very beautiful and colorful um if not quite as flashy and just the cool thing i learned this tail that the luna moth has is thought to be used to throw off um the echo echolocation of bats that would be a predator for the species so that kind of confuses them confuses the bats as to their location which helps them escape that's pretty cool um another thing i get is that butterflies are bigger um which can sometimes be true but we do have very small butterflies and then we also have very very large moths this is this is uh, an atlas moth this is um the, the biggest moth in the world right and this one also has very very pretty wings and even though this moth is so big their mouth is too small to actually eat so the adult atlas moth they don't live very long they basically live long enough to find a mate and lay some eggs and then they die and that's about it but beautiful beautiful creature so not color not size um i also get well butterflies come out during the day and moths are nocturnal and that's that's pretty much true too but sometimes we can see moths during the day um if we disturb them and sometimes in a shady spot we'll see moths as well during the day so the best surefire way to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth is to look at its antenna let me sort of angle this so we can see on this atlas moth and i'll show you this one because it's it's the biggest example that it has these really fuzzy antenna and they tend to be shorter too so moths have these funny fuzzy antenna they're they're used to kind of um for males especially to collect pheromone to collect scent so that they can find the females um in the dark because there's not as much light and then butterflies tend to have longer antenna and they're not fuzzy they're long thin and often at the end they kind of have a club shape so it's harder to tell on the specimen but you can see a little bit of the antenna there and it ends in just a little bit of a ball and then of course if we look at the luna moth here too we can see the fuzzy antenna so that's the best way to tell a moth from a butterfly is look at the antenna all right so i'm going to do one more video um and we will talk a little bit about bees before i leave you guys for today